So for tonight's dinner, I am making a burrito for the kids with cheese and it's going to be like a burrito bake. It's actually going to be like pre-made um, steak and cheddar chimneys that I got at Walmart and they come with 14 individually wrapped. Um, they have rice, they have beef. We tried one already to see how good this is. So I bought um, kind of like Velveeta cheese sauce or like, you know, the Mexican cheese kind of dip. And we bake these in the oven and we're gonna top it with the Mexican cheese dip first. Bake them in the oven for about 30 minutes and then I top with more mozzarella or cheddar cheese, whatever one you have at home. And dry beans have been boiling. You can get a pound of dry beans for about a dollar, sometimes under a dollar, 75 cents to 98 cents, um, mostly at Walmart. All of your grocery stores have it. So I always boil them um, before transporting them over into the crock pot, um, which I will let them cook with all the seasonings and everything. And the red beans will be a topping for over rice with our burritos. So I'm going to put this in the crock pot with the water and everything. I mean, you have the seasoned water and everything. You want these beans to be able to cook and thicken in the crock pot. And they're going to form an amazing sauce. So in here, I just have one chopped onion. Um, I have a couple of these um, garlic seasoning cubes. I'm going to add in one pack of Sazon Goya and I have some other seasonings I will tell you about once I add them in. So let's take our red beans and let's pour it in the crock pot with our onions. So we're going to pour it into our crock pot with our onions and then just mix them. So you can obviously see that it's hot. Um, we're just going to mix in these onions in there. I also have a couple of cloves of chopped, um, chopped garlic. So we actually like garlic. I will probably chop up some more garlic and add it in. So we're going to put in about a teaspoon each of garlic powder, paprika. We got smoked paprika. It's going to create that smoky kind of flavor about a teaspoon of thyme. I always get this garlic and herb blend. Some fresh black peppercorn, a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of basil leaf. I always add it in a little bit less than the oregano and the herbs of Provence. I think it's kind of like an all Italian kind of thing. And we're going to put in a couple of bay leaves in there. And do not forget your magic ingredient. This Cezanne Goya creates so much depth and flavor in that. So we're going to sprinkle it and it keeps it, gives it that nice redness kind of to it with the red beans and everything. So once you have all of your seasonings in there, just mix it up. Also, I forgot to mention Weber has these amazing um, seasonings. Sorry, I left my pot in the sink with water. So Weber has these amazing seasonings and this one is a New, or New Orleans Cajun and it has like minced onion in it and it has like that paprika and everything that you want it. Onion, red pepper, salt, garlic. Um, this is really amazing to add in there too. It gives it all the depth of flavor in a seasoning. Now, with the smoked paprika, you may want to start off with half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. It does add in um, a smoky flavor to it, so if you do not like that kind of smoky flavor, you may want to even leave it out. And we're going to use some chicken stock. If you don't have chicken stock, that's okay as it goes along the way and cooks. You can add in some more seasoning, or if you have a chicken bouillon, or a chicken... Um, you know, base, anything you want to add in. If not, you can just put in water. I like the chicken broth because it gives it a really good flavor. So we're going to pour it in and we're going to cover all of the red beans.
And my favorite place to get chicken broth is honestly the dollar store. I mean, you can never go wrong with chicken broth for a dollar. Sometimes you can find it at Aldi's or Walmart, maybe like 98 cents or even a dollar. So now we're going to turn it on to high and we're going to cook this on high for about four to five hours. And if it goes longer than that, it is okay because we want these beans to start falling apart and simmering and they're going to form a gravy. Some people like to add a can of tomato sauce to it and you can add a can of tomato sauce if you want. My family really doesn't like it as tomato-y. So I always let the red beans do its job and just break down and create its own sauce. So while this is cooking for the four or five hours, um, just prep your burritos if you want to. What coffee did you make? So as a rule of thumb with the burrito, chimichangas, whatever you get, um, these ones I really like because they're all individually wrapped and the kids can make them in the microwave whenever they want. Um, I generally serve two per person. Not everybody will eat two because, you know, with the rice and beans, sometimes people get full. Um, I have an older son that maybe he'll want to eat three or will have leftovers for the next day. So I'm going to layer them in foil pan. Um, and I'm all about, like, keeping it easy, keeping it fast on those days where you don't want to wash a lot of dishes and everything. So I have the burritos in both the pans and this is what I was talking about like a queso blanco or you can use the orange cheddar kind of cheese. We're going to top all of the burritos with this sauce. I also have this avocado cilantro dressing. It's only 40 calories and I love the flavor that the cilantro brings. If you're one of those people who do not love cilantro, do not use it because it is a definitely cilantro flavor. So we're going to open that. We're going to pour it over the burritos and the cheese sauce. It just adds like a depth and I'm all about whatever you have at home. It can be a guacamole ranch kind of flavor um, and you're just trying to create like the sauce. I'm all about utilizing what you have at home and getting creative and trying new different kind of easy budget friendly meals. And now we're going to top this with some of the salsa verde. I have gotten Chi Chi's Mild Verde and this is actually the Walmart brand. The Walmart brand, I will tell you right now, I honestly love the flavor. It has a little bit more heat, which I'm going to add both of them. Um, the Chi Chi's one is a little bit more waterier for my taste. You can see that the Salsa Verde and the Great Value brand, the Walmart brand, is a lot thicker. It just kind of sits on. You can also add a little bit of the Chi Chi's one around it. Because like I said, you're going to try creating that sauce when you add your cheese. You want it to be kind of like an ooey, gooey, cheesy kind of flavor melting. So I'll just put that in. And now we're going to top it with our mozzarella. If you have cheddar or like a Fiesta blend, go ahead and use that. So I also buy the cheeses in the big five pound bags. I firmly believe that it just lasts so much longer and you can just take a little bit out how much ever you want. We do pizza nights and just sprinkle and cover your burritos. And then you're going to bake this in an oven, 350, 375, depending on how your oven works. Um, about 30 to 45 minutes, I would say. You want to make sure that everything is cooked properly. And, I mean, the burritos are already pre-cooked, but basically you want to make sure that your cheese and everything is melted. And while this goes in the oven, the good time to get your rice going so that way you have it um, 
to serve. If you're one of those busy moms, you know, you can pop in the rice that goes in the microwave and voila, two minutes later, you have cooked rice. I hope you enjoy this little budget friendly meal hack and let me know what you would do, what you would add to make this better, um, what you would change about it. Let me know if you tried it. Let me know if you like it. Follow me for some more videos. Thanks everybody and have a great day.